just filled up the screw. Now we're filling up the truck. Well, I must say, another large day here in the big land. Uh, I got tree traps, so I'm traveling in to take those tree traps up. And I'm not really perfect hunting, but if I see any along the way, of course, I'm going to harvest them. Uh, you know, with the price of gas and everything else, you definitely don't want to be wasting gas. Uh, yeah, the price is really skyrocketing. Uh, but the funny thing about it, you know, I, I think at the moment, air gas and goose bay could be the cheapest in the whole country at a dollar fifty nine point six because uh air gas come in the fall of the year was bought for at that price or whatnot and then it's stored and we won't get no more gas until the tanker come in, in the spring so they freeze the price during the winter and lots of times the price fall back or whatever and and air price still still don't change right just this time has gone above it and and the first time yeah first time ever i guess uh the cheapest in the country it's still expensive <laughs> supper taken care of <laughs> now like I said uh, I got tree traps to take up so this is the first one nice and mild today whoa look at that just look at that first trap a Merton Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. And let's see what the next two brings in. That's a nice big Martin, too. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Martin. Take the bait out. And that's the one I'd like. a partridge wing and guts and all stuff. Yeah! Yeah, when I uh, when I set the trap in this location, there was a, a Merton track there, but but he never came back. So, well, after I got a Merton out of the first trap, I was almost expecting another one, but but that's it. That's the way she goes. That's trapping. So I won't be coming back this way no more for this year. So so anyway anyway <laughs> yeah, some uh, see some fresh. Rabbit tracks and look at this just like that. I'm back at the rabbits. So that's the first one for the day Yeah, another one reset so so that makes number two Got a another snare uh, reset This old day keeps getting better better fur a few partridges a few rabbits Well guys, I uh, I ended up with five deer all together, so that's pretty good but uh, I'm not going to clean these till tomorrow. I got other other things to be doing. <laughs> yeah. You know, all this stuff uh, takes up a nice bit of time. You know, time you catches them, cleans them, and bottles them up and everything else. Uh, yeah, you chew up a nice bit of time at it, that's for sure. But but it's time well spent. That's the way I look at it. Well, this right here is the last trap for the year. And... Uh, and you know, I never had a big lot of traps here, especially the last couple of years where the price ain't as strong. And the way things are going, there's almost no way to guess how the market's gonna go right now. Uh, but trapping is over, it'll free up a little more time. You know, days are getting longer and warmer, so good, better, you know, for ice fishing with the family and stuff like that. And I'm gonna continue on with the rabbits. And be lots of, uh, probably good back seal hunting and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a lot of great uh, videos. Uh, coming out over the next little while. A little bonus down today. Well guys, today uh, I'm taking up my rabbit snares. Uh, we got a major storm moving in. I think like uh, I know five centimeters today, up to 30 uh, tonight. And up to another 10 tomorrow. So, 
So 40 plus centimeters of snow and I'm going to be blown hard. So there's going to be some pretty big drift banks, I guess. So, uh, so I'm going to take my snares up for now. I got the first one out of the morning and hope it, hope it ain't the last. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, another one for the pot. Definitely won't be sitting any snares back, uh, you know, 40 plus centimeters of snow. <laughs> hey, just look, when he got caught, he must have dug in good. Just <laughs> look at the claws stuck out there. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, uh, this makes number three, and I got one more snare left to check. And that'll be it for uh, rabbit snare until till after the storm anyway. It's snowing there now, and uh, so I guess uh, uh, the weather's slowly moving in. You know, we're gonna get over 40 centimeters, so I'm gonna move some, some stuff around in the backyard just so make it easier to, to clear the snow once it's over. And I had three rabbits today, five yesterday, and I got four there I put in the freezer uh, before I went to Williams Harbor. So I got a dozen here to clean just like that, you know? So don't take long to get a few and uh, and you know, uh, you know, uh, they'll make a lot of a lot of great meals there. Well, guys, this here is twelve rabbits butchered up. So I'm going to uh, do up a few more bottles and get them on there. So this could be the last rabbit I'm going to bottle up this year. And uh, got a little bit of fur. So you're going to wash it off good. Wash it over two or three different times. Make sure you get all the fur in that off. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to. Put some of this in bottle. I done a video before showing how I bottle up rabbit, so I'll probably I'll put a, a link in the description to that video if you want to see how I bottle up rabbit. And I might even uh, put on a little bit of rabbit soup. <coughs> excuse me for supper. Well, I cannot go without showing you my updated stash of bottle rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so since the last time since I showed this, uh, I finished off this case right here, and I got another five bottles right there, and uh, I think that's it for the year. I won't be bottling up any more rabbit this year. Uh, still going to keep a couple of snares out, or set a couple of more now later on, and uh, the rabbits I get, I'll just clean them and put them in the, fr in the freezer fresh, and you know they'll be good for soup and stews and stuff like that. But I tell you, one great thing about bottle rabbit is you can enjoy it cold right at the bottom. You haven't got to warm it up or anything. You can warm it up, you know, sometimes I'll fry up, uh, fry out a bit of onion or whatever and warm up the rabbit that way with a bit of potato or even a small, like, like a little pastry or something like that. But but man, cold out of the bottle is fantastic as well. And all you really need is a, a slice of homemade bread and a cup of tea with that and you got a, a fine meal. Like I said uh, in the previous video, this is the most bottle rabbit I had since uh, I left Williams Harbor and I'm really stoked because I really enjoy this and uh, and yeah it's gonna make a lot of fantastic meals for sure uh, but I guess that's it for this video though guys uh, I really appreciate y'all watching take care all the best from the big land oh I almost forgot the jelly the jelly to form on this rabbit is also fantastic you just slurp it right down <laughs>